How are you all doing? In this video, I'll be unboxing and reviewing a professional monitor that prides itself on colour accuracy and is aimed more towards creatives. It is, of course, the ProArt PA278CV, which is suitable for photographers, video editors and designers. I think it's going to be perfect for my needs, to be honest. So let's get into it. I'm a fan of Asus and use their components a lot for PC builds. Hence my excitement for this. I've also upgraded my gear and bought a ring light. So hopefully it'll be clearer than my previous videos. In the box, you get various useful cables, HDMI, USB-C and display port. Alongside the base stand, all tucked away in discreet crevices. You kind of have to find it. You also get their all important factory calibrated documentation, which is absolutely bloody lovely. So out of the box, the colours pop, and although I don't own a colour calibration device, I personally think it is good to go straight out of the box. I initially bought an ultrawide 34 inch a few weeks ago for my setup, but found that way too big for my needs. Some advice to anyone in the market for a new screen, always make sure to research and be practical about your decision. Bigger isn't always better. So straight out of the box, you'll notice how sturdy this is and the base is super heavy, which is a good thing, not a bad thing. It's definitely well built, and building the base is as easy as Lego. And once you put the stand arm onto the base, you literally just click it into the back of the Pro Art, and you then just have to find out what connection to use, which is whether it be USB-C, HDMI, or DisplayPort. Once you've attached all the needed cables, I dare you to turn it on, I dare ya. The Pro Art PA278CV is 27 inches, with a resolution of 2560 by 1440. It is also frameless, so that's 2K. If you're in the market for a 4K, then this one isn't for you. I paid 360 pounds, which is a great price with this amount of features. It is factory calibrated, is also Kalman verified to deliver superb color accuracy, and it also provides industry standard 100% sRGB and 100% Rec 709. That's a lot of choice for various projects. It even has the ability to change the black and gamma to your own preference, which I like. The screen gets plenty bright and has punchy contrast. Personally, it's the clearest screen I've ever looked at in a while. But then again, I've I have come from a 1920 by 1200, so anything right now will look out of this world. Bonus is it has 75 hertz as well as adapter sync. So if you're an animator, this will eliminate screen tearing and basically provide no lag. There's an ergonomic stand with tilt, swivel, pivot, and height adjustment for a comfortable viewing experience, plus a VESA wall mountable. Being honest, in all the monitors I've had in my life, I, I only prefer to buy more, more professional monitors nowadays because of the ergonomic stand built in right into the screen. Uh, you don't have to prop it up with books or, you know, your own makeshift little stand. It's such a good screen, I'll have to go back and edit my existing photos because they don't look that good now. <laughs> so that's the only drawback, personally, the fact that I've literally been editing my photos and my videos, even for this YouTube channel, with a screen that wasn't even colour accurate. I'm now going to have to redo everything. Be mindful if you're coming from older tech, all your existing creations will probably need to be revised. The ASUS ProArt palette lets you customise your display via a wide range of parameters, including colour, hue, temperature and gamma. It's all easily accessed via intuitive on-screen menus. It provides greater colour adjustment flexibility than many competing monitors. The ProArt palette empowers you to provide, produce quickly and consistently and makes it easy to keep your colour management in check. When you are a photographer, video, video editor, designer, back in the day it was just however you created it in traditional format. Now it's all digital, you have to rely on a colour accurate monitor. It does have extensive connectivity for maximum flexibility. That's one thing we've got to like that. You could have the best tech product available on the planet and you can only give it like one port or something. Nobody's going to be interested in that. When I use tech every day, which I do, if something has the flexibility built in, you don't need dongles, you don't need extension things and cords. And you, If it's all there and you have the option to use it, that to me is a great device. I sit about two to three foot from my screen. I can see, I don't see any pixels even while reading text. If I was going to be sitting closer to my screen, say maybe a foot or two, then I probably would go for a 4K, probably would have gone for a 32 inch 4K, but I don't. I sit about three foot, because I like to have a little bit of space between the screen and my eyes. I'm, 
uh, although I have done photography and video editing for quite a number of years now, I'm actually still learning. So <laughs> it's kind of stupid that after all this time, I haven't upgraded my screens. I've finally done that. And I'm hoping that it's kind of going to bring back the love for like creation again, because seeing true to life color and a sharp crystal clear screen is going to make you want to create more. I think that's just a natural thing. You're going to want to create on something that you can see properly. It's kind of crazy because when I look back at my old 24 inch 192200, I don't know how I've looked at that for like six years, honestly. You'll have more accurate colors for all your various projects. You have the flexibility. You can even go to darkroom mode and all these other different types of modes on this screen. It's just incredible. sRGB mode, Rec 709, um, DC 3IP, whatever, whatever it's called. All these bloody technical things that personally even I'm still learning. But this was just like a quick unboxing and a short review. I do sort of plan to, I mean, this is a monitor I am keeping because I actually love it. I'm just gonna learn how to use the monitor properly. So who is this monitor for? Well, I would say that this monitor, if you're looking for a, a professional grade monitor, but you don't have 1500 pound, to drop on a monitor, then I'll get something like this. And you get all the features, all the bells and whistles at the fraction of the price. Personally, it's a no-brainer. You've done, you've probably seen a lot of my reviews. I'm just really honest, but I trial them all together, you know? And I am honest in my reviews. I love it so far. As mentioned earlier, this will be my daily driver. I am looking to keep this monitor, so it's gonna hopefully be with me for many years to come. So yeah, go and buy one. It'll pay in the long run to have it.